Good morning, it's Tuesday and it's a work from home day for me. Um, it's going to be quite a busy one today, I've got payroll to do if I want to get paid this week and um, I've got lots of other things I need to get finished. I've got two meetings booked in as well so it's going to be quite a head down busy one today. Last night I started to feel like I got a bit of a lump in my throat and this morning I've got up and I feel like it's not a sore throat but you know where you can feel like something's going to kick off. Oh, Luna's not happy, she's outside. Yeah. And we still have snow. But I think it's supposed to go this week. So I think the snow is supposed to be here. It's supposed to start raining and then I think the forecast have another bit maybe at the weekend, but hopefully it's going to go at some point this week because it's a struggle to walk, never mind for on. So so yeah, so it's going to be a busy day today, so I'm going to quickly make my coffee and then I'm probably going to go and get my head down and just get on with my day. So I shall catch you when I have something to eat. Breakfast this morning is two crumpets with five grams of uh, clover light and then I've got ten grams of the Sweet Freedom Golden Syrup. And I've got the calories on screen for it and I've got a cup of coffee with it. So that's my breakfast this morning and I shall catch you later for lunch. Here's my lunch today. So this is leftover mashed potato and leftover Brussels sprouts, which I've just fried off in some nut calorie spray. So I think this comes in at 380 calories in total. Um, I'll put it in the app, so I'll put it on screen if I've got that wrong. Um, I might have a bit of brown sauce on it, and if I do, I'll obviously add the calories in for that, and I shall catch you later for my evening meal. So I've added 15 grams of the Brown Rolls brown sauce and that is 15 calories so I'm going to enjoy this I've added those calories on and um, I've made a mistake I've done myself a Starbucks instant caramel latte I'll just show you the packaging so I bought these in Asda and I didn't think they were too bad and then I scanned them in my app when I've made it and the calories there are for 100 mils not for a full serving so it works out I think at like 90 calories well, it says 90 per serve there, but in the actual app, I think it said 180, uh, sorry, um, 87 or something. So I'm going to go with what's in the app. But it's a bit frustrating because I didn't realise they were so high, otherwise I wouldn't have made it. I don't even know if I'm going to like them. Um, so if I don't like it and don't drink it, obviously I'll, I'll take the calories back out of my app. But um, I'm going to drink it now. I've been in a meeting since half ten and just made my dinner. It's now half one. Um, I've still got my payroll to do and I've got another meeting I think it's at like four ish so I've got to try and get it done before my next meeting so it's it's busy again so I need the coffee to see me through so I don't regret having it just means I can't have so much to snack on later but I'll catch you when I have my dinner good morning it's Wednesday and it's another work from home day. Um, it's currently quarter to eight and I've just come downstairs to make my coffee. Um, I'm late logging on today. I've had a really long day yesterday, so I decided to not rush this morning. I've still got tons to do, but I just kind of think I'll get to it when I get to it. Crazy hair, I've just stuck it up in a messy bun because it really needs a wash, but again, I couldn't be bothered. Um, I'm supposed to be exercising and working out after work today, I think. Um, but in all honesty, it's been such a stressful week, I don't know if I can be bothered. Um, I can see those people doing this 100 day exercise challenge and I really admire them. Um, as you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, I love to run, love to work out, but I know for a fact I couldn't commit to 100 days on the trot because I'm just rubbish. <laughs> um, work and stuff just gets to me sometimes, so I just can't always fit it in. But also, I just don't know if I've got the motivation. I did the 8 day obsession and workouts last year. And I did most of them and then we went on holiday for a week and I couldn't actually do them because I couldn't take the equipment with me. And um, and yeah, so I haven't, I mean, I did work out most of last lockdown. We did pretty much every day. But then I'm dead flaky, so like I started a new workout. I'm, well, actually, to say that, I didn't work out yesterday. It was a really busy day. I was on from half seven till thinking about eight, half eight last night on work. So it would have been hard to fit it in anyway, but as it is, um, I took yesterday as a rest day and I've switched my workouts today. We get 
on this new program you work Monday, Tuesday, work out Monday, Tuesday, you have Wednesday's rest day, then you work out Thursday, Friday, except Sunday's rest day. And that normally would be when I go for a run, but I didn't last weekend because of the snow. So again, I'm just a bit flaky, but I'm not having breakfast just yet. I'm going to delay. I'm not hungry at all at the moment. So when I have something, I shall show you. Breakfast today is a little bit random, but I've got two scrambled eggs. It looks like there's quite a lot here, but it is a small pain. Um, and then with it, I've got two slices of Warburton's fruit bread toasted with five grams of clover light on each slice. So this is a total of 378 calories. Um, I didn't weigh out the fruit bread toast and they are quite the small, the, the right at the very end of the loaf, so the small slices. So if anything, it's probably slightly um, over calories, but then the eggs look quite large. so. Hopefully it evens itself out. I'm going to go and eat this now. I think I'll probably be having my lunch late because it's a meeting at lunchtime. So um, I'll show you what I have when I have it. Here's today's lunch. So I've got four of the Aldi hash brown waffles and that's topped with half a tin of Lidl beans and sausages. So this is a total of 350 calories and I shall catch you later for my evening meal. It's five past four and I'm still working. It's been another really long day and busy day. Um, I'm gonna probably take Luna out for a walk in a bit or something. Um, I needed to move, my hips really hurting me. I think it's from sitting in this chair for such long days this week, taking its toll. And I don't know what's going on this week, but I feel quite hungry and peckish. I don't know if it's just because of work stressing me out or, or what, or whether it's cold weather, but I have got myself packet of party rings and they're 83 calories so tea tonight is supposed to be toad in the hole and it's not low fat sausage I don't think they're particularly high in calories but they're not low fat sausages so I just need to work out because I think after this I'll probably have around about 600 calories left just trying to think what I've had today 340 for my lunch and 300 and something earlier yeah I might have even 700 maybe but not nothing more than that so I just need to be careful to make sure I've got enough for my dinner and if not, I need to think about having something else. <laughs> but I just need something sweet to go in my cup of tea. So I'm gonna eat these now and I shall catch you later. So it is quarter to six and I'm about to start making dinner. And I've decided I'm making toad in the hole. I've got some of these extra special sausages from Asda. Two sausages is 131 calories when grilled. Now what I've done is I'm not gonna grill them but I'm just gonna use my 0% not calorie spray and spray the tray and put them in the oven to cook them in the oven for a bit. And then obviously I'm gonna get on and do my toad in the whole recipe. Um, I've actually got a Mary Berry recipe that I've just written down off the internet and I'm gonna double the actual um, Yorkshire pudding mix because that was for eight sausages and I'm doing 20 chipolatas. So I'm gonna double it. Um, I've planned the recipe in my app and I've put everything. I've put 20 sausages. I've doubled the Yorkshire pudding recipe and it's come out at, I can't remember how much per serving, but basically when I've tracked that, I've tracked some potato and some gravy and some mixed veg, and it's come out that I'm exactly on my calories for the day, which is bizarre. It does mean I can't have a snack later, but I've got a feeling this might be quite filling, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm planning. I've had really bad hips today and bad ankles and things, and we took Luna for a quick walk, and we actually went for a longer walk round. Um, I, I did Pokemon on the way round. My hands were freezing, but I wanted to collect some more Pokemon. So we did that and then um, so we were out for about half an hour and I came back, went back on my computer and decided that I'd had enough and was going to log off. So I've logged off, starting on tea. And what I thought was whilst I was doing tea, I'm going to put a Lucy Wyndham Reed walking workout on the TV in the kitchen. Now someone recommended her in my comments. I do apologise, but I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but someone recommended her. So I appreciate it because if I look at her channel, it looks fantastic. So I noticed there's some seven minute workouts and there's also of all abilities, but there's also some indoor walking workouts. So I think I'm going to have a look at doing one of those whilst it's cooking. I might get my kit on just so that if I do get a bit sweaty, um, I'm not going to get a close smell. But um, but yes, yeah, so I might try and do that whilst I'm uh, cooking dinner, just as a, a bit of a not a waste of time, but just so I feel like I've done something because I haven't done my workout. And like I say, my hip was starting to hurt, but going out for walks actually helped it. So I think if I do a bit more walking, it might actually help ease things off a bit. I was hoping to go to my sister's to walk, go for a walk with her, but I realised I'll be working a bit later and it will be really, really dark. And I'm hoping to have a short day tomorrow and Friday because I've done lots of extra hours. So I'm hoping I can do a shorter one. 
in which case I can probably go over and there might even be somewhere open that does take away coffee that we can go to whilst we're on our socially distanced walk. So that's the plan and I'll show you um, my tone in the hall when I do the next bit. I literally just started filming and my sausage moved on its own. What's that all about? It's like it's trying to escape. <laughs> anyway, I've got my two trays ready. So there's more sausages in this one. I was going to do it all as one. Look, it's, it's literally, it's got some 0% calorie spray in there and that's it. It must be really uneven on my work surface because it's just going off on its own. But it's just that one. How bizarre. But yeah, so I've got my sausages ready in my tray, ready to go and cook. Now the original Mary Berry or whoever it was recipe, it might have been BBC, said to cook them for 20 minutes. Now these sausages only take 15 to 20 minutes in the oven to cook fully. So I think I'm just going to stick them in for 10 minutes because I don't want them to be fully, fully cooked so that then when they go in again, they're overcooked. So I'm going to stick them in for probably 7 to 10 minutes whilst I make the batter and see how they turn out. So dinner's on, the potatoes are boiling and it's got about 10 minutes left, although I might get it out in five because it looks like it's almost done. And I've just done a Lucy Winden Reed workout, which was, it was one from, I think it was nine months ago. It was quarantine workout, home workout, walking at home one, which is one mile indoor virtual walk. And it's a mixture of sort of fast walking, side walking, toe taps. Um, you obviously do it at your own pace. Really, really enjoyed it actually. It's about 20 minutes long. I chose one that's 20 minutes because I just decided that that's how long I needed because of, of dinner being my day, so I'm going to get my gravy done now. So, um, so yeah, so rather than just sitting around doing nothing whilst dinner was on, I feel like I've been productive and done a 19 minute walk. So that's really good. I'm really pleased. I mean, I don't feel like it's like my other workouts, but I feel like I've done something and it's anything to try and help my hip because my hip does need easing off. And I think it's definitely down to my work chair, I think. I mean, my work chair is fine and it's supportive, but because I've been doing like 12 hour sits in the chair, I don't think it's helped. I think I need to get up more and move, but hopefully I shall do that tomorrow and Friday because it's going to be a shorter day for me, hopefully. So that's it. I'll show you when I get dinner out. So the turn and hold is ready. I forgot to switch my timer off. Um, I'm just waiting now on the potatoes because the potatoes aren't quite done. I'm still boiling those. And I've got some veg on at the back. So just waiting on that and I'm going to make some gravy. Now the original recipe told you to make your own gravy from scratch, but I'm just going to do gravy down there because um, I haven't really got time for that today. I decided I just want to have dinner ready so I can eat and relax. Good morning. Um, it is Thursday. <laughs> I had to think for a minute there. Um, apologies for the light. I've got my table lamp on and it's a bit bright in my face, but um, it's not a ring light or anything. It's just a normal table lamp for me working. But um, I'm logged on to work. It's eight o'clock. I really struggled to get up this morning feeling very tired. I did go to bed early-ish, but I only got up a few times during the night to go outside to blow it, even though it was chucking it down with rain and it really was slinging it down with rain. And I love the sound of the rain on the window, but it was quite loud last night. So I feel very tired today and it's been a long couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to finishing the one job I've got to do that's my major deadline today and then having an easier couple of days. So I'm going to get on with that. I'm not having anything to eat just yet, but I'm going to have my coffee. Eddie's downstairs making it. So I shall catch you in a bit when I have something to eat. So I've just had a delivery and it is really, really lovely. Um, one of my subscribers, Mo, has sent some pyjamas for Luna and they are absolutely gorgeous. I'll just quickly show you them. I probably can't do these justice because they're on my lap at the moment, but they're really cute. They say little bee on and they're really lovely. And they are special, like, proper dog pyjamas which I'm tempted to try and go around and do a pattern so I can make some more, but they're lovely. And I think they're all fitted because they look like the perfect size. So I don't know how Mo's guessed that, but it's absolutely amazing. So I really appreciate it. She's just lying down asleep at the moment, so I'm gonna go and put them on her in a bit. So, um, so yeah, thank you, Mo, they're beautiful. Some really kind people out there. I mean, it just makes you feel so like warm and fuzzy with the world. So thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And um, I'll catch you later. So we've got the pyjamas on. They are a little bit big, I think, but they're okay. And uh, she looks a little bit distressed at the minute. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing to me? But they're gorgeous, look. They're so cute. She could have really done with these when she was like licking and scratching at her little wings under her under her arms. Or paws, <laughs> keep calling them arms. <laughs> you right, Lean Lean? They're gonna be comfy, aren't they, when you 
You're all snuggly and warm under there. <laughs> came down to get my breakfast so I decided to put the slow cooker on. I'm doing some pulled pork in the slow cooker so I'm just making some homemade barbecue sauce first. So I've got some diced onion, passata, paprika, honey, balsamic vinegar, some Worcester sauce, some garlic and some tomato puree. So I'm going to, oh, not hoping not to burn my onions. I'm going to get these on, this, this on as a sauce and leave it to cook for a bit and then once I've cooked it off I'll be putting it in the slow cooker with my joint of pork. So this is the barbecue sauce. Um, you're supposed to leave it to cook for about 10 minutes on the stove and then you can blitz it down smooth but because I'm putting it into the slow cooker with pulled pork I've left it for about 5 minutes. I'm going to just throw it in now because obviously it's going to be on for about 8 hours so the pork is currently sitting in here. Um, there is quite a lot of fat in this piece of pork, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna have to count the extra calories. I'm not gonna mess about today trying to take the fat off because I just don't have time to do it. And um, I probably won't have a huge amount anyway. I'll probably um, have lots of salad and stuff with mine. So I'm gonna have to nip to the bakery at lunchtime to get some cobs because I haven't got any in. And I don't want to trip to the supermarket. So I'm gonna nip across to the local bakery at lunchtime, I think, and get those. So I'm gonna stick the barbecue sauce in now and get this put on. It's going to be on high for about eight hours because it's nice to have it so that it's literally falling apart. So that's the plan. So it's currently 10 o'clock. So that'll be about seven o'clock for tea, which is about right, hopefully. And I'll catch you later when I get something. I've not had any breakfast yet and I'm now tempted because it's gone 10 to wait until lunchtime. I'm trying to save my calories so that I can enjoy this later. So um, I might not bother having anything. I might just have a cup of tea. So I'll catch you for lunch. So I've had a walk over to our local bakery because I needed some cobs for our evening meal and I've got myself a turkey salad cob, well turkey salad roll if you're not from around these parts. So there's a slice of turkey on there, there's lettuce, cucumber, tomato, some cress, some lettuce and some onion and then um, it's on like a seeded wholemeal roll if you have a look. And then I've also got a cornflake tart for a treat because I just feel like I need it. So I've counted this all, I've counted this as two, I think it's seeded wholemeal, either M&S or Waitrose rolls, because I'm thinking it's probably the equivalent of two normal rolls. I've counted all the salad and the turkey in there as best I can. And then for the cornflake, and that came out at 452 calories, which I think is probably be about right. Then the cornflake tart, I can't find a cornflake tart in the app at all. So I've counted it as a jam tart, a deep filled jam tart, and I've counted cornflakes, syrup and chocolate separately. So that's coming at 219 calories. Whether that's right or not, I don't know. Um, but I've not had any breakfast today. So I'm currently even with this, I think I'm on uh, 670, 680 something calories. So I've got plenty left for my evening meal and I'm hoping to go for a nice walk as well. So hopefully this should all be okay, but I'm gonna eat this because I'm absolutely starving. So I've just eaten my, my roll really enjoyed it actually but then noticed that actually it's got the calories on it so whereas i counted it as 452 it's actually only 287. i think somebody wants some of my roll <coughs> somebody's had quite a lot of my bread roll and my turkey so i haven't even had 287 because she's had a fair bit of it um so yeah i can actually reduce my calories from my roll down to 287 now so it's not as bad as i thought sister in a cup of hot chocolate skinny hot chocolate cheers, cheers. <laughs> out for a socially distance walk and it's actually the sun's out and the sky's blue and it's lovely so we're going to charge around and have a nice walk and i'll see you in a bit For breakfast today, I decided to make some baked oats. I'm not a huge fan of baked oats, but I thought I'd give them another go. So this is, well, the entire recipe I made was 45 grams of oats, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one egg, a cup of milk, and a 30 grams of the diet protein powder, vanilla one. But I've only got half a serving here, so this is two quarters, so it's half the serving of what I've made. 
Um, and I can't remember what calories come out at, 200 and something calories. I've done it as a recipe in my new to check app. And then I've served it with some fruit and a drizzle of the um, skinny food company Raspberry Jam. I've no idea if I'm going to like this and whether I'm going to eat it, but I'm going to give it a go and I shall let you know. So it comes in at 221 calories for the baked oaks, and then there's seven calories worth of the skinny food company jam on top, and then I've just got to work my fruit out. The fruit, I've got 70 grams of frozen fruit there, so I'll work that out. I should imagine it's only about 30 something calories, it can't be much more than that. So I think it's probably about 250 calories altogether for this, but I'll, I'll let you know on screen the exact amount once I've worked it out. Good morning, I think I've realised that I've not been on and said hello yet today. It's Friday and I'm logged on working from home as usual. It is currently lunchtime, well it's actually nearly 10 to 2. Um, I showed you my breakfast which was my baked oats, which actually they were alright. I was never a fan of them when I was on Slimming World but I thought I'd give them a go today and they were okay. They always seem to have like a rubbery, eggy texture, which I'm never fond of compared to like a cake or something. So they did the job. They were 221 calories for my breakfast. I've just had the other half of my lunch. So that's fine. <laughs> I've, I've just scoffed that because I was so hungry and realized I couldn't find anything quickly enough. Um, I've stuck in for the boys some oven chips and they're gonna have chip cobs with some fish fingers, I think. Just had a quick look actually in the fish fingers, which are these, which I think might be the Aldi ones. You get three fish fingers for 168 calories, so it might be that I actually still do myself a fish finger like little roll or something just to tie me over. I'm logging off work early again today because I've got loads of hours in the bag and my laptop's not playing ball today, so I'm getting a bit frustrated with it. So I'm gonna log off early, I'm gonna go on another socially distance walk with my sister. Yesterday, by the end of the day, I think I'd walked something like five point something miles. I think I did. Well, I did over six kilometres with her, which is about just under four miles, I think. Um, and then, obviously, did us some other walking during the day. So, not too bad, all in all. Um, I do feel like I'm not exercising much at the minute, and it worries me because, obviously, I'm eating calories as if I'm active. So, I've got to be very careful. I'm just making myself a cup of tea whilst I'm talking to you. Um... So yeah, I think I'm going for a socially distance walk. I'm not sure how far we'll go. It's actually dry at the moment. Oh, that's my timer for the oven for the chips. Just bear with me one second. I've changed location because I put the, um, it was literally the chips were telling me that they'd done some time and then I've just put the fish fingers and the part baked rolls in. So they've got another 12 minutes now. And um, so I've come back upstairs to do a few more emails whilst I'm waiting. But yeah, it's quite a dry day. There's some blue sky up there and it's no rain at the moment. So we're going to go for a walk, I think. Um, and that's it, really. Nothing else planned. Um, I'm supposed to be looking at a replacement shower for my ensuite because it's been broken for probably like three months, something like that. So we said we're going to try and get that out of this month's budget because obviously we're near the end of the month and we're trying to budget this year quite strictly and we're looking at shelving for my understairs sort of pantry so I might actually log off work in a moment and sit and have a quick look at those so I can get them ordered and then at least then we can do some projects and get things sorted so yeah that's where we are at the moment I've actually just ordered some shampoo off Amazon for Luna so for those of you that have been watching my vlogs recently, they'll know that Luna's had this pyoderma on her stomach and under her arms and stuff in her armpits. And whilst she was on the antibiotics, it was fine. It got really, really, it actually cleared up. It looked fine. Um, she's down to the small antibiotic, a half tablet every other day now. And we've noticed that all the spots are starting to come back and she started itching again. So it obviously hasn't cleared it up. So I could go back straight to the vets because the vet said that there was a next stage treatment with some cream that they could use, but... It's quite expensive, but then I'm just thinking that I don't want to get to the end of that and then it come back again. So I've been looking at it and the, on Amazon there was a special shampoo you can use. It's like medicated antibacterial antifungal and it does mention pyoderma on there. It's all natural ingredients like thyme and things like that in it. And I think you're supposed to use it twice a week to start with. There's some really good reviews and because it's all natural and herbal, I'd rather use that than keep pumping sort of like chemicals and stuff into her and onto her. 
So I'm going to give that a go and see how we get on. She was actually a little bit sick a little while ago, so I don't know if it's affecting her immune system or something. She was screamed and run over and she was sick. So she's not 100% at the moment regardless. So I'm going to get this shampoo, give it a go. I've also had to order myself some more Benadryl because I do seem to be struggling with allergies again at the moment. So I've got both on order from Amazon for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to sit and have a look now at the shower and the shelving. And I might even have a sneaky look at some clothing sites because I'm desperately need of some clothes and I keep putting off buying it because I just keep thinking what's the point I'm not really going anywhere but if ever we do get let out <laughs> I've got nothing really to wear so I wore my Fabletics leggings yesterday when I went for my walk and they are just so nice if I could have all the money I would order some more of those because for sort of like working from home and exercising and work, walking around in they're just so comfortable and so warm but I actually need some proper clothes like proper day day job clothes so I need to have a look into it and see what I can find but anyway I'm rambling on a bit so I shall leave you to it for a bit I shall see you um probably when I get something out to eat if I have anything I mean I'm currently on like 440 calories or something for today because I've had the two portions of the um baked oats and I really want to have some calories for tea I'm also thinking this weekend that I really do fancy some sort of takeaway and I should be able to accommodate it from a calorie point of view, but I do think I probably will go over calories. I just need to adjust for a few days after. The one thing I have realised, as I'm talking to you now, it is lunchtime. I've eaten twice today. I forgot to weigh this morning. <laughs> I just suddenly thought, the weekend. What a show cake, because it's treat day. And I was like, ah, I haven't actually weighed yet. Hmm. I stepped on the scales yesterday and I was the same as I was last week, so I'm not expecting any great shakes. Um, I'm not going to weigh now because obviously I've eaten and I normally weigh first thing in the morning, so I'm going to get up and weigh tomorrow. I don't think a day's going to make a huge amount of difference in the whole scheme of things. So I apologise for that, I've just suddenly realised. But And actually you probably wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't have said anything because I don't upload my weighing video till Saturday or Sunday anyway. So I could have just gone unnoticed, but I want to be honest with you. I'll tell you that I'm a scatterbrain and I forgot, but anyway. Right, I'm going to get on with some emails, log off work in probably about 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm fully, I've like, I've done my hours this week and I've done extra hours for the whole month, sorry, I'm going to lie. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to feel guilty logging off. I've also got my crochet I could get on with. I'm, on, I'm onto the brim, but I was just too tired last night to do it, so I just didn't bother. I'm almost a bit nervous because... The next row and it, it involves you crocheting into the front of the loop rather than the whole loop so i just want to make sure i do it properly so if i do any of that i'll show you that too um it's coming on quite well i'm just hoping it doesn't look like a bucket hat at the end of it and not just like a big coaster <laughs> but i'll show you that when i do it later too so here's my lunch i've got a white roll i've weighed it it's 50 grams in fact it's 48 but i have counted it as 50 grams and that is 127 calories and I've got three of the fish fingers which is 168 so this is a total of 295 calories which I don't think it's too bad really I'm going to go and enjoy this and then I'm going to go off for my walk